In this video, we'll describe how to locate and identify if an auxiliary port relief valve is installed in the control valve on a Toolcat utility work machine, and how to install an auxiliary port relief valve if needed. Auxiliary port relief valves should be installed on machines before using attachments that require a port relief. See the Attachments Operation and Maintenance Manual for port relief requirements. Port relief valves protect the hydraulic system and prevent main hydraulic control valve failures on machines, damage to the hydraulic cylinders, or damage to the structure of the attachment. This damage can occur if proper port reliefs are not used. This type of damage is not a warrantable failure. Keep in mind, auxiliary port relief valves are not included with the attachment and must be ordered separately. To begin, park the machine on a level surface. Lower the lift arm so it's flat on the ground and or tilt the bobtatch hatch attachment mounting system fully back. Stop the engine. The auxiliary relief port is found in the auxiliary section of the hydraulic control valve below the end cap. And the hydraulic control valve is located on the right hand or passenger side under the center console. To determine if the control valve has an auxiliary port relief valve installed, remove the mounting screws and access cover on the right hand side of the center console. This access point will allow you to see the control valve and inspect the relief port to determine if a plug is installed or if the auxiliary relief valve has been installed. When inspecting the control valve, the location is limited in space, so you'll need to use your hand and fingers to determine if the plug or relief valve is installed. The plug is a hex flange with a dimple located in the center of the hex head and visible at the end of the plug. Whereas the auxiliary relief valve is also a hex flange, but has a spring and orifice at the end of the valve, and the visible hex head portion of the valve stands slightly taller in the port than the plug will. That being said, it'll be difficult to determine the height differences due to space, so it's recommended to feel for the dimple in the hex head. If the dimple is present, the hex plug is installed. If not, the auxiliary relief valve is installed. If the machine has a plug, you'll need to remove the plug and install the approved auxiliary port relief valve. To do this, Place a container or absorbent towel under the control valve to capture any excess fluid that may run out. Next, remove the center console for easier access to the plug. Begin by removing the screws from the top of the console. These screws secure the cover to the cab. Now disconnect and remove the joystick. Start by pulling the joystick boot up and over the joystick to remove. Carefully disconnect the joystick wire connector. Loosen the jam nut on the mounting shaft and turn the joystick handle counterclockwise to remove it from the hydraulic control valve. Then remove the speed control lever cover by pulling the cover straight off the lever. On 5600 and 5610 models, also remove the box lever cover. Now remove the cover from the armrest. This will expose the mounting bolts. Remove the mounting bolts and remove the armrest base. Now remove the switch panel by carefully prying and lifting the panel straight out. Remove the box lever mounting bolt and then remove the lever. Now for the 5600 and 5610 models, remove the mounting screws for the switch panel located behind the armrest. Carefully remove the switch panel by lifting the panel straight out from the console. Mark each connector and disconnect the wiring harness electrical connectors. Disconnect the wiper switch connector. Then mark and disconnect the harness electrical connectors as applicable. This will make it easier to reconnect them later. Now remove the box lever mounting bolt and lever. Once these items have been removed, the center console should be clear to be removed as well. Remove the center console. Ensure all connectors have been disconnected before fully removing the cover. Then remove the mounting hardware from the center console mounting bracket and plate. Then remove the plate. This will provide top-down access to the auxiliary port relief plug or valve. The auxiliary relief port will be located near the pilot port end cap. Before removing the plug, Wipe around the relief port to prevent dirt and debris from entering the hydraulic system. Remove the auxiliary port plug from the auxiliary valve section on the control valve. 
Wipe up any excess oil that spills around the open port with a lint-free towel. Before installing the relief valve, ensure the O-ring is installed on the valve and lubricate the O-ring with clean hydraulic fluid. Install the relief valve. Once the relief valve is installed, carefully install the center console components in the reverse order, shown earlier in this video.